the center of the series is a very believable relationship. Mm. And it's kind of one of the best things about the show. One, one of the reasons my husband and I tune in every week, like teenage girls, is we are so excited to see, because you know, we, we adopted our foster kid. So we're looking for ourselves in the media for images that feel, that ring true that aren't kind of jokey. Yeah. Um, much has been made about the chemistry between you and Sherry. They're so in love. It's, yeah, it's tell, crazy. tell us about it, Janet. Tell us about it, Terry. I, uh, I'm, I'm absolutely heartbroken that Sherry isn't here I know. Right Why, now. She had to work tonight. You, I she, she had to shooting. work. She's yeah. still at work, and yeah. she's, she's actually a little under the weather. So, yeah, no, I, um, I, I really don't generally like actors. I like all of you guys, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Such a backhanded compliment. <laughs> um, I think we're a bunch of selfish, insecure, um, spoiled <laughs> this cast people. <laughs> but not us. These these actors are great. I was gonna say. Um, and uh, and and you know, having been in this business for twenty eight years, holy crap. Um, <laughs> You know, I don't really make friends with, I, I make more friends with the crew, or like the hair and makeup people, because that's, mm -hmm. a, that's a, an intimate relationship that you form. You know, you're in with your hair and makeup crew at five o'clock in the morning, and you tend to basically be your worst at that time, right, Danny? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, I was talking about me. I was just yeah, looking that's... for confirmation yeah, no, there about me I'm at with five. You. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you're going along with it five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so... So you know, I would I tend to make friends more with the crew, and 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 I don't I, I don't I've never really made close friends with an actor before, right. and it's so funny talking about first auditions because the first time I met Sherry, I went in for my audition, and and they brought me in. They Sherry was already cast, and um, we went in for a, a chemistry read, and and I wasn't cast yet, but this was kind of like make it or break it for uh -huh. me. And I walk in, you know, out of the, the elevators and into the lobby, and there's the most stunningly beautiful woman in the entire universe. She's gorgeous. Yeah. She's ridiculous. Yeah. She looks like that in the morning when she yeah, at 5 a.m. Yeah, no right. makeup. With it. Right. You're just, yeah. and, uh, and I was like, huh, I can play a lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, you weren't that subtle about it. You literally walked up to her and, and opened your arms and went, I can fall in love with that every day. Uh, Did I really? As God is my witness. <laughs> <laughs> that loud. I can fall in love with that. I was like, wow, Archie Bunker. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, I'm honored um, to have that comparison. But anyway, um, and, and she was... She was a bit aloof and a bit, you know, a bit standoffish. And I was like, really? oh, this Look just, oh, man. But I learned that that's how, you know, that's how she personally deals with being nervous and being, you know, not quite as open and obnoxious like Archie Bunker as I am. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and we went in and it didn't matter because we read those scenes together and even I knew, even I knew, I was like, wow, this is like we were finishing each other's sentences and we were interrupting each other and we were, we were overlapping and as if we had done it for 10 years already. And, uh, and it was just lovely. And, and as we have, as we have done the show, it just, I, I don't think I've ever loved another woman in this way ever before in my life. I think I have more chemistry with Sherry Song than I have ever had with any other male counterpart in 28 years. She is a beautiful woman inside and out and an extraordinarily caring, loving person. That's one of the things I think I've learned the most on this show is, 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 is a different kind of love is that I can love another woman and have it be, be okay, <laughs> even right. though right. I'm looking for a man <laughs> <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> um, but that's part of it too. It's like this this, 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 this relationship is central to the show, but uh, by season two, it's already become like nobody's even reacting to it. Yeah. But in, as, it, as if it's no, but uh, in the like, pilot, that was the whole point. That was, was the goal. Here's yeah. a family. Here's love. Yeah. Here's kids. Right. I've got a zit. I've got a boyfriend. I don't. Yeah. I bet. Oh, and by the way, they happen to be lesbians. And you know, blah blah blah. And then yeah. I've got to get to work. And you're late for school. And and so that was always the intention from the very beginning, from the pilot. Do our moms deal with different issues? Yes, they do because they're two women in love. But mostly, they're a family, and that was always the goal.